Hi, my name is Rebecca from PTC, and today I'm going to show you how to create an XY native plot. We'll start by plotting points and then functions, and I'll go through all of the formatting options for this type of plot. Here I've called three vectors, X, Y, and Z. To insert a new plot, go to Plots, Insert Plot, and select an XY plot. A blank plot has appeared. Now we have to call our data. For the y-axis, I will call my variable y. And for my x-axis, x. The default units are automatically set. However, you can backspace at any time and change the units. You can add a trace on either axes. I want to add my z data on the y-axis. So you click next to your y variable and select Add Trace. Here, I'll type Z and include the units of my choice. If you look above, many of the formatting options have been faded. However, if you click the plot, they become available. You can add a vertical marker or a horizontal marker. There's three ways to set these values. You can drag, type, or define a variable. and type it into the value. This option is nice because if you change this value, it'll automatically update. To delete the markers, you can backspace twice or select the marker and delete it from the plots dropdown. You can change the style of the line by selecting the symbol line style, trace color, and thickness. You can do this for both variables. You can also change the plot background. You can change it to paper color, which is the same as the paper color, transparent, which will include the grid lines, or white, which is slightly off from the color of the background. You can change either axes to a logarithmic scaling by selecting this button. You can also drag the axis any place you'd like. And if you want it to cross at 0, 0 again, you can easily do this by selecting cross axes at 0, 0. If you want to change the minimum and maximum values on the axis, you select either the last or the first value. If you select the last, you can set the maximum value. If you select the first, you set the ver first value. And if you select the second, you can select the scale. As you can see, now my scale goes up by one. You can do this for both the y and x axis. Finally, you can remove tick marks, tick mark values, and the axis expression. Now, if the plot is not selected, you will not see your axis expression. We'll leave them on for now. Lastly, you can format the plot values by selecting general, decimal, scientific, engineering, or percent. You can also change the precision of your values by selecting how many decimals you want it to show. For the second example, we'll be plotting for velocity. We've set our variable distance equal to 10 meters and set our time equal to a range from one second to 100 seconds with a step of one. Here our function is equal to distance over time. We'll add a plot just like before, but this time we want to insert velocity of time for our data on our y-axis and time on our x-axis. As you can see, it has created a nice plot. For the last example, we're not gonna define any variables first. We're just going to insert a plot 
and create a sine curve by doing sine of an undefined variable. Be sure that this variable you choose has not been defined anywhere else in the worksheet. As you can see, now it creates a nice sine curve. You can change the view like I showed you before. And now you have a curve from negative five to five. Thanks so much for watching. Look out for more videos.